Hello everyone, it's Deirdre with Soliano's Bath and Body Indulgence and today we are cutting ice cream sundae. And I'm very excited about this one. I did a high top soap like this very early on when I started making soap. Um, it turned out okay, but you know, there's always room for improvement. So let's see how this one turned out. If I can even cut it, I may need to do some adjusting, and I do. So like I said, this one is available this year, but you know, once this is gone, that's it until next year. Um, I wanted to have this out and ready for summer, but that didn't quite work out. Let's see. I'm eyeballing it here. I'm doing this one sideways because of the sprinkles on top. Whenever you have something like sprinkles or just anything on top, whether it be mica powder, um, cocoa powder, glitter, anything like that, sometimes the particles, whenever you cut down, they can leave lines and ridges in your soap and you'll have to plane it, you know, clean it up, make it look a little better. But here we go. Here's the first cut. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Um, it came out a lot straighter than I thought. Um, you can see the little soap in bed on the top. Just had to clean it up. But I like it. And of course, you know, each individual layer we have strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. And the top, even though it is kind of white, it is banana. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's turning out really nice. It smells great. You know, you have to remind yourself that it is not edible. I like it a lot. And these, like I said, will be available at the end of the month. Um, I'll have it in the description, but I want to say it's the... 28th. Okay. Let's see. This is going to be the last video for a little while. Well, not for a little while. I guess for a couple of weeks until I get my holiday fragrances in. I do have some other soaps to make. I may do some videos making other products. I'm not sure just yet. doing some inventory and just getting ready so it's going to be work in the shop now is going to be very eventful with everything coming up with the holidays I really enjoy it even though you know you could look at me and think that I'm just going wacko and I need to calm down but I like it. I like being busy. That's good. We're not losing too many sprinkles. I went heavily because I didn't want to... It's quite tedious to kind of put sprinkles on and then press everyone in individually to make sure that they stick. So I just made sure 
to I just put it on heavily so that way as I'm cutting I know some are going to come off, you know, I'm going to lose a few, but it's not that many. It came out really nice. I'm really happy. You know, sometimes with soaps like this, there's not too much of a wow factor because, you know, it's just layered soap. I thought about doing... some type of swirl with this soap but I kind of wanted to you know have the diff the differential differential there we go um, layers so you can you know you can tell hey it's ice cream sundae oh look you know Neapolitan ice cream the different layers but maybe we'll see how this one goes and then next year when I do this again either you know I'll make one that's swirled and one that's not and see how it goes from there or just make the swirl you know Even though it's a plain bar, it's really cute. I'm glad the colors are staying the way I wanted them to. So, you know, when you're dealing with fragrance oils that have vanilla in them, vanilla is brown. So therefore, at some point, whatever you put it in will turn brown. Sometimes. But this one is holding up just nicely. I'm very happy about that. Well, the end of one market season is almost here. Got my glove. Let it go all the way through. Okay. But yeah. The end of one market season is almost here. Got till the end of October for one. And our other we got our Christmas market. You know that's just a few weekends. And then we have the other market which is year round and that one I really like it's fun out there it's like a you get a real sense of community and family with you know between the vendors it's really nice In March, we have the Peaches to Beaches. We did that earlier this year. That was fun. It was like one huge um, yard sale that started... Uh, I don't remember exactly where, but I know it starts in Georgia and ends in Florida. So that was fun to be a part of that. We'll be doing that again this year. Wait, excuse me, next year. Lord willing. Like we have to... We're gonna have to get... And um, RV 
or some kind of camper trailer or something like that with a bathroom in it because porta potties just ain't cutting it you know so we'll see what goes on next year maybe we'll be able to find one that we can fix up or something like that or or you know find a decent one to buy well you know we like fixing up things like doing projects so we'll see that was oh my gosh that, it was two or three days I want to say for oh my gosh I don't know maybe about 10 hours or so actually it's longer than that cause, you know they have hours that is going on but people are still around or hanging out so you can actually go a little further than what they said Very excited about this one. It came out cute. I'm excited to do it again next year with more scents. I'm looking at doing these, like I said, more scents, more ice cream type scents. So that'll be fun. Well, guys, that is it. Like I said, this is the last one for a little while. Um, last soaping video for a little while. I do have other soaps to make, but they're duplicates. And there's not really anything, you know, to look at. You know, I have to do goat's milk again. Activated charcoal. The oatmeal milk and bee pollen. You know, those soaps. Um... Maybe I'll come back with a couple videos making some other products or something like that. And like I said, a few more weeks. We'll have our holiday soaps. I'll have those videos coming out. And yeah, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed the soap, enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with family and friends on, on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and YouTube. That's where this video is going. And if you haven't already, go on the website and check it out. Um, it's www.handmadestores.com slash Solianos and that's S-O-U-L-I-A-N-O-S um let's see and I want to say that is it thank you so much for everything we really appreciate it and until next time have a great day and God bless